fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 5th of January 2023. Welcome to the channel if you're new here and if you're old here, still welcome to the channel. Again, welcome back, let's say. Um, and uh, if you've ever wondered who gets their kicks on Route 66, I have to tell you it's 18 year old Brock Peters. Uh, he must have got a kick out of landing a small aircraft, <laughs> a light aircraft on Route 66 after his engine died. And he had his grandmother in the plane too. Well, well done and got it down safely. Con many congratulations to him. Fantastic news. Always good to report something nice uh, when life is such a pain sometimes. Speaking of being a pain, uh, I was very flustered in my earlier, uh, when I was playing my earlier video because uh, I had lost my email account of at least 20 years. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and um, I've been dashing about today. Uh, I tried to fix my Apple thing online and it was a failure. I couldn't log in. Uh, so I had to actually go to the Apple store. It's the first time I've been to the Apple store in Bangkok since it opened. It opened a couple of years ago, but because of COVID and stuff, I've seen it from the outside. I'd, I'd never been in until today. Uh, it's a very weird place. It's a kind of rotunda on a couple of floors and you walk around looking for things and then you walk around the spiral staircase. It's a very weird design. I felt almost... I was almost about to get motion sickness by the time I found my, found the exit on the way out, and uh, they still couldn't. I still had to telephone someone, and uh, it wasn't very convenient because the place was packed, jam packed with people. It's right in the middle of the tourist uh, district, and kind of close to the business district, and uh, it was really jam packed with people with people. And uh, I had to use the speakerphone and to uh, announce things quite loudly and stuff. But they uh, 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 on the phone because the person in the shop wasn't able to do it. They had to do it uh, um, online, um, which is kind of, you know, defeated the point of me going there. But anyway, uh, I kind of did and tried to shout uh, at my telephone because it was so noisy in the store. There's, there's nowhere quiet. There doesn't seem to be any rooms or anywhere you could go is quiet. This circular building uh, looks quite beautiful but it seems to me to be very impractical and uh, anyway finally um, after much uh, after letting Apple control my telephone which is something I hadn't seen before I, I, I'm used to controlling other computers remotely but not controlling telephones that was quite weird anyway finally it seems to be working after like half an hour of stuff in the shop and then coming back and sorting out some of my other uh, computers here and uh, most importantly, I've sorted out my bank accounts, my important bank accounts. So um, that's now I feel safe again. You know, <laughs> I was really rather concerned. I must admit that the uh, the possibility of having my bank accounts uh, unavailable to me. Right. Uh, anyway, so news is slightly better this evening than it was today with a nice airplane landing and a, uh, well, partial solving of my problems of course i do have like many years worth of accounts that i'm going to have to deal with over the coming days hopefully i'll be able to get rid of most of them right uh, i see three blocking down here shall we start with a three this is the la times los angeles times um expert level sudoku regular for this channel of course especially in the evening three blocking up here three in those squares blocking up there across here and across here like so there we go with our three. I think that's about it. Mm, I should have made myself a coffee. I'm in the mood for a coffee. Uh, right. What else is on offer? Oh, six down there, six. We've got the threes up there, the sixes down here, so sixes here. Hmm. Need a little bit more. We have nines across like so and a nine down here.
Ah, okay, actually those nines, I've just realized nine blocks there and there and nine blocks up here, so we can get ourselves a nine there as well, just realized that. How about this? Seven and three block this square, seven and three block this square. We're limited to seven and three in the middle. We've got a three up here. Here's a three, here's a seven. That was nice. Um, so we have sevens like this, like this, up there. Mm, no. Mm. Okay. Okay, uh, one and eight is missing here. Do you agree? So I'm sp specifically looking at the ones. So one blocks up here and one blocks across here. Now we've got three blocking down here and three blocking across here. So in fact, we have ourselves a pair of one and three. In those squares, knowing that that's one and three, what does it mean? One and three. So it means the two blocks down here and two blocks up here. So that must be our two then. And again, one and three here, so we've got one, two, three. How about the four? What do we know about four? Anything much? Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, how about the f oh, five is good. Five blocks here and five blocks here, so five is in those squares. So if this is one and three, we are left with four and six in those squares. We've got the six blocking up here. So that's the six, and that will be our four then. We need a four at the end of this row here. <clears throat> mm. Four blocking up and up here, so that gives me a four there. Uh, we've also got fours in these squares down here. Uh, if that means anything.
Hmm. Oh. <laughs> now I placed the three, didn't I? So the one and three that I mentioned before, I've not now got to revisit and say, hey, the three must be there, the one must be there. I forgot to revisit it after I'd placed this three down here. That is, in fact, the threes are now finished. Okay, good. Ones I'm not sure about. Still possible like this. Twos are like this. Ah, two across here and two down here, so that places a two in that square. Two down here, two down here, and two across here gives me a two here. This is a pair of four and six. Okay, we have six blocking down here. So six is in one of these two squares. We have six blocking across here, right? So six has to appear in these squares here. And we have four blocking here and here and here. So this is definitely a pair of six and four. Come on, give me something, will ya? Right, okay, I see the seven blocking across here and seven down here is going to put the seven in that square if this is six and four we've got five blocking across here here's the five and if this is six and four this has to be one and two so this can't be one that must be eight and one must be here grand stuff grand stuff and in fact one blocks this square which means one is here, right, and we've got ones blocking down like this and across here like this. So this will be our digit one in that row. Now we have four blocking this square and this square. So here's our four for that row. What will we be left with? Seven and something. Six, is it? Six and seven, I think. Uh, we've got seven blocking down here, so here's the seven, here's the six. Um, I've forgotten what I was doing up here. What did I, what was it that I did up here? <laughs> Memory's gone again. Ah, yeah, one and two block here, don't they? So one and two are in those squares, and this is our six, actually. Of course it was, I said four and six in those squares, didn't I? Now, I actually think I had four here as well. Yes, I did four blocking across here here's a four missing five blocks down here five goes here eight is in this square Pause for a second to gain breath. Um, two and four block. Oh no, oh no, I was about to tell you something silly and wrong, so I won't tell you that instead. I'll stop right there and say, oops, don't give away bad information. This is better. Five blocking up here and five across here means that is a five.
six blocking down here here's the six four blocking across here here's the four and an eight will finish there we also need an eight at the end of this row missing numbers here are nine and six so the six blocks up here here's the six here's the nine and uh, one number missing from here is that a six two i think it is okay then six is all the way across here and up here four across like so and up here there's a four final four actually right little smidgens to go uh, seven and nine in these squares and this is five and eight don't have any stuff over here though so let's look uh, threes are done, sixes are done, fours are done, twos. How about the twos? Can we do anything on that yet? I don't think so. We've still got twos like that. So probably not. Uh, what's missing from up here? This is nine and something I remember. Nine and what though? Nine and... Um, five... So one, seven, eight down here, that's no good. Oh yeah, this is five and eight pair up here, right? Um so one blocking across here so one in those squares one is still like that uh, two is like this five, six, seven seven is like this and nine is here did we get any singles there? Oh. Ah, I believe this is the only possibility for nine, actually. No. Yes. We have nine blocking here, nine blocking here, nine blocking here, and nine blocking here. So that must be a nine in that row. Ta-da! Now we had twos blocking, two blocking here two blocking here and two blocking here so here's our two then and two blocks down here so here's the two, oh two sorry and here's the one puts a one into that square there one across here up there and across here so here's one that's now finished next number we need is a five what do we know Or seven, seven blocks here, seven blocks here. So here's our seven. Um, seven blocking up here. So here is our seven, seven across, like so. Up there, that's the final digit seven. One number to complete the column. Uh, I think you're a nine. Nine across here, nine up here, there's a nine. Five blocking up here, here's a five. The missing number here got to be eight, whether it wants to or not. And uh, missing number here is five, and this is an eight. Eight blocks back this way, here's our eight. And a five finishes off today's uh, straightforward expert level game from the LA Times. We've had some pretty reasonably good games today. Kind of enjoyable, not necessarily the most difficult, but I don't know. They're taking me out of myself, which is useful when I'm uh, flustered and unzen-like. So 
Uh, I might come back later in the evening for a supplementary game as well. But hope you uh, join me if I do. And if not, well, there are plenty of old puzzles to go back and check out on the uh, channel. Go back for two years now. Bye-bye.